Got one? Yep. There you go, there you go. A good one too. That's some good ones here. Oh yeah, we're on them. There's a stack of them here. Oh, that's a big mangrove. It didn't take us long to double up over here, guys. It's early in the morning, guys. And we're catching ourselves some shrimp. Live shrimp. Oh, that one's about to get away. That's a good one. And mojarras. Letting the pinfish get away. We're keeping the silver perch and the little shrimps like that. That was gonna be a table shrimp. Little shrimps like that are perfect for mangrove snappers. And that's what we're gonna be targeting today. See, and that's the silver perch I'm talking about right here, guys. It's not a pinfish, it's a silver perch. And the mangrove snappers or the grave snappers love these guys. Beautiful morning out here. South Factory. Whew, beautiful day out here. I'm gonna start off today working with a swim bait here. Do it good, guys. I had seen some tarpon rolling, and that was the point of the swim bait. But unfortunately, after a handful of casts and no bites, it was time to switch it up. All right, guys, we switched up to a free line mullet. I mean, a free line shrimp here. Not so much free line, it's on a split shot. Our goal here is to get these mangroves, guys. Whatever it was, what the heck? That was a good fish. God damn. Damn, that was a good fish. What the heck? Wow. In Texas, there is no minimum size or bag limit for mangrove snapper. Little mangrove snapper. Live shrimpies on a spit shot weight. Got a fish on the right here. Another mangrove? Could be. Nope. That's a big perch. Got my shrimp. something here what we got guys Jeez. perfect another little mangrove what they're looking for little mangroves guys these are perfect little whole fryers mangroves were being caught on both sides of the jetty so i decided to try my luck on the surf side this time That's a good one, yep. Ooh, a little better. Oh, wrapped around the line. Wrapped around the line. Oh. Oh. 
I'm thinking about getting in there and grabbing them. That's a good snapper too. I'll get down there, I think. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Bro, he came off. That was a good one though. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. yeah, I was about to get in the water too. I missed a nice one here right now. Shrimp? Yeah, shrimp. Yeah, right, right on the rock wall. Oh, dude, I had one. That was one for sure. Spooning it. That's a nice one too. There's some good ones here right now. Ooh, there was like three behind it. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna smoke them right here then. That's it. I'm on already. That one? Yep. There you go, there you go. A good one too. That's some good ones here. Oh yeah, we're on them. There's a stack of them here. Good ones too. Yeah. That's the print, yeah. That was quick, bro. Well, these bass would have been sitting right there the whole time over here. Dude, they're, they're, the they're nice ones too. Yeah, it took me right into the rock. What the heck? Oh, there he goes. Came out. Oh, it's a big mangrove. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have a small hook. Peace. Appreciate you, bro. No problem. Can't lose that one. Yes, sir. Got a tiny hook, man. My bad, bro. That's a good one, bro. Bro, that's a good one, bro. On a dead shrimp, too. Beautiful mangrove snapper. It's a nice one. I'm gonna ditch shrimp too at that, guys. Let's go. Close. 16 and a half. It's a nice slab. All right, guys, I switched up to a live mullet with a boomy cat rod and an alley hole 300. Yeah, I got something on. Oh, oh got it. Do I have it? Yeah, I do got whatever it is. What the heck this is? Baby fish? Oh, a speckled trout. Live mullet. Actually, it might be a keeper. We'll find out right now, guys. Might, might have 15 inch here, guy. Oh, hey, measure him. Hopefully. He looks like a 14er. Tap it, tap it. <laughs> I'll let you go. You're 14. He, he's 15 Bro, he's 15. Yeah, he's I, I'm a keeper. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Broke in. Nice, nice little trout. Yep. 15 incher. New regs, guys. Yeah. The keeper. Huh? No, he's a keeper. Oh, keeper. They changed oh, the, the they changed the law. Oh. They changed the law on the on the beginning of this month. That's you good. can keep five at 15 again. That's, that's yeah. yeah, now they're keepers. All right, let's get back out there, guys. I see myself a redfish now. That guy was way out there in that current. He inhaled that mullet too. I had one this big. The bite slowed down. 
and we decided to hit it again the next day. Only problem is, the wind picked up. So, we decided to take it a couple of steps back and fish the Pack Reef Bridge instead. Okay. For bridge fishing. Port, trout with silver perch. Freelining with a hook and a split shot. See what we get, guys. I was pretty much drifting the bait between the pilings underneath the bridge until it reached a certain point and I would retrieve and cast again until I felt a thump. Alright guys, we're on here. Let's see what we got. Let's get the cow. Deeper, yeah. It's a speckle. That's like a 17 inch speckle. around down there. That's like a keeper too. Oh, I saw a keeper talking too much. <laughs> I just lost my trout. These guys black out are there. slaying the black drum on the other side. Looks like we traveled across to the other side of the bridge. We're out here, we got some dead shrimp. Let's see if we can fish. Let's see what happens. So I got the Alley Hose 300 here on the Numi Cat Rod. One ounce egg weight, size 4 J hook. Started off on that side over there catching trout. We've seen everybody over here killing these drums, so we decided to come over here, see if we get one or two, one or two ourselves. Bye. Actually on right now. Long to get one. That's quick bite too. 
doubled up here. Oh, that's like a dread almost. I need to bring the stringer either. Sheesh! On the little reel too? Middle of the day, there's a deep hole right here, and we're smacking these drums. Not too long ago, we were smacking some trout at the bridge. Here's another one right here. Oh yeah, you got him completely out. Black drum now. Yep. Sheesh. Right there. Nice black drum. Mission doesn't end. Trout, it's a drum. It's bridge, it's paint off for us. Alright guys, we started off with the jetties, getting into some mangrove snappers with shrimp we caught early in the morning. The next day, we ended up getting into some speckled trout with silver perch. Then shortly after, some black drum right across the same spot we were at. Now, we're here. Got some filet of black drum, speckled trout, and mangrove snapper all mixed in this bag. I'm going to separate it. I got Louisiana fish fry, sweet Hawaiian rolls, some french fries, lettuce. We're about to make some sandwiches here, guys. Let's get to it. All right, I got my mangrove snapper here separated from some black drum and speckled trout right there. Got the Louisiana fish fry. Of course I'm cheating here. Just gonna put it into this bag. All right, now that I got the mix in the bag, I'm gonna add the mangrove. Mangrove's over eating first. While the fish is frying up, we're gonna get some butter nice and hot so we can toast up these sweet Hawaiian rolls. The golden crispy. Sheesh. I got the fish all done and separated here. I'm gonna place the fries in the middle. I got some seasoned fries here cooking up. Almost done, guys. All right, guys. Fried fish. Now to get our sandwiches going. A little bit of tartar sauce. here and a piece of mangrove snapper Sheesh. a little bit of lemon on top of these guys some nice mangrove snapper sandwiches here guys with some toasted Hawaiian buns a little bit of tartar sauce lettuce and seasoned fries 
Look at that, guys. Delicious mangrove sandwich. It's going down the hatch. Hmm. Let me finish this. It's amazing. Can't go wrong with a nice fish sandwich, guys. Delicious mangrove snapper right out the Gulf. Amazing. Now this is South Texas Fishing Fam. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. It's free. We are out. Perfect.